Uh, good evening, folks. I'd like to call the uh, public hearing meeting of Monday, May 26, 2014, at 6.40, almost 6.45, um, to order. The purpose of the public hearing is to hear public comments on bylaw number 1539, cited as the Colwood Land Use Bylaw number 151, 1989, amendment number 139, residential 6 R6 zone, bylaw number 1539, 2014, and bylaw number 1538, cited as the Colwood Land Use Bylaw number 151, 1989, amendment number 138. For 686 Donovan Avenue, bylaw number 1538, 2014. The general purpose of bylaw number 1539 is to amend land use bylaw number 151 by creating and adding a new zone, being the residential 6 R6 zone. Uses permitted in the zone would include single family dwellings, secondary suites where the lot width is not less than 12 meters, home based businesses, and accessory buildings and structures. The maximum lot coverage for residential buildings would be 40% of the lot. The minimum lot area would be 695 square meters, except that where suitably, suitable amenity contributions are provided, the lot size may be reduced down to a minimum of 300 square meters. The R6 zone would also contain other regulations for the size and siting of buildings, and the general purpose of bylaw number 1538 is to amend land use bylaw number 151 to rezone the property at eight, or pardon me, 686 Donovan Avenue, more particularly described as Lot 1, Section 69, Esquimalt District Plan 9798 from the residential R1 zone to the new residential 6 R6 zone for the purposes of facilitating a subdivision creating up to eight single family residential lots. That is what is before us this evening. Looking for approval of the agenda. Move. Second. And we have gone through that uh, public uh, hearing statement, so we'll move on to the public hearing. So I will declare the public hearing open at this time. Um, if there's Anyone here to speak to the public hearing? This is your time. Yeah, it's it's not a. We're just here to hear your your comments, um, but it is just for tonight. This is this property. Just for this property. Okay. okay. Um, now I understand that an accessory dwelling uh, is going to be can be permitted under this rezoning as well. So is that an, an accessory dwelling? Is that like a separate a little home? Uh, we have staff on that one. Excuse me, Madam Mayor. Uh, if I could offer um, myself, uh, Acting Director of Planning in Burhill, and my colleague, uh, Ifo Vanderkamp, uh, Planner, we're both here to help you with your uh, questions. So after the close of the public hearing, uh, Ifo can make himself available to help you with the questions. I see. Uh, all right, I understand that. Um, 
it does sort of have a bearing on what may be happening with the Donovan property. Um, I'm also concerned about, I believe that there is no sewer plan for the next near future, we'll say, for the property. So therefore, if this proceeds, will he be putting in septic tanks and septic fields on the property for these eight planned homes? Uh, it doesn't seem uh, quite, well, so soon, what's the urgency of doing this rezoning? And uh, because my property is backing onto it, I am, I am concerned about the uh, parking, and the parking will be running adjoining my property, so there will, or our property, my husband's and mine, so there will be um, cars and noise and lights, and I realize that fences and all this can be built to accommodate it. Uh, I understand at the moment uh, five single family lots may be built on, on the property as is, so why not go with that instead of the higher density, the uh, almost three stories houses that can be built in there and the secondary suites? That's getting a lot of density for the area. Um, I think that's all I need to comment on now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other members of the public? My name is Lisa Lee Hive, and my husband is Jared. Um, we just bought uh, 3020 Volmer, so we back right onto that. We bought the house knowing that um, that property could be rezoned. Um, essentially, we have three concerns, um, some of which um, we touched on. One of our kind of major concerns is how the septic is going to go. Like, there, if you have eight houses there, how in the world are you going to put? septic field or septic plant, like you gotta have some sort of treatment plant. Um, so the only feasible thing that we kind of see is that sewers come in. Um, great. <laughs> um, and then we're, I, I'm concerned, and I think you have more I, documents than I do. I'm concerned with how close a house, if it's three stories, is going to get to the, our, our property. Um, that's another one of our concerns. And then I just had one and I forgot what it was. Um, nope, forgot it. Um, oh, cons the construction. I don't know if there's, um, uh, like you see a lot of construction projects falling through and, and not people, whoever the investors are, not having enough money to finish. Um, and then it just doesn't look very good. Um, and, or if it's just prolonged for years and years and years and we're stuck with our backyard, there's construction in our backyard all the time. And timing of construction, I'm, I'm, my husband's in the trade, so I'm pretty sure it's gotta be Monday to Friday and they're not gonna be working on the weekends or late hours and making noise in the community. Um, but that would be the other concern that I have. Thank you. My name is Pam McKean and I live on Volma Road and have done for 22 years. I would only make comments that I really don't object to development there. I'm a bit concerned about the height of the buildings and also what the impact would be on the boulevard on Donovan, which is a real mess and really needs clearing up all along Donovan. It really is messy. Kids play there and the weeds and massive trees with branches falling all the time. So I wonder what the impact would be on Donovan. And if you allocate eight parking spaces for eight houses, you're going to have a lot of extra cars. Are they all going to be parking on Donovan? And I'm also concerned about the what are you going to do about the sewer system? and the height of the buildings, I think that's probably a main concern. Thank you. Thank you.
Hello, um, my name is Laurie Mackay and I live in, in Colwood, not far from, from this development. Um, my husband and I would like to urge council to support this application for rezoning and for the proposed subdivision of the property. We support selected renewal of older residential areas in Colwood as a way of upgrading aging infrastructure, modernizing neighborhoods, incre uh, increasing density with the municipality, and providing affordable housing for our young people. This project would provide housing for young families and others in a multi-unit complex. We live on Kildu Road, just around the corner from this proposed development. In our opinion, this would fit well into the neighborhood as owners, sorry, as owners in Estrada ourselves, we recognize the value of living together in communities and sharing common infrastructure. As a volunteer for the Vancouver Island Strata Owners Association, I am particularly interested in the possibilities stratas in all their forms, including Bearland Strata, provide for rezoning a single family lot into a lot for our uh, making more individual housing available for our increasing population. Rezoning existing family, single family lots to permit multi-family family homes is a win-win way for Colwood to achieve its goals of densification and renewal without contributing to urban sprawl. I have discussed this development with the Russells and support this application, and I urge Council to support it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Any other members of the public? Um, I'm worried about the condensing of the neighborhood. We're in a nice character kind of community. And uh, when you, like they said, if you get cars going in and out, there's kids at play right now, and it's just going to put our kids at risk in the future of just, you know, Donovan becoming more populated. populated. And not only that, but it, like I said, it's the character homes that are going in and out of there. We can't have cookie cutter houses like we do up in West Hills and Bear Mountain. You know, you condense these people together. And just creates outrage altogether and you know you get up in Bear Mountain nobody's happy in those homes it seems like I have lots of friends that live up there and, you know they regret the situation it's all about property build four or five on this lot fine put eight in there it's gonna be a problem so I just see it as just getting too many people in there it's too many cars like you said it's all about the kids like I want to have a family and not worry about my kid throwing a ball across the street and accidentally running across some kid screaming goodbye and hitting them right so that's my main, main concern. So. Thank you. Any other members of the public? Good evening. My name is Glenn Brown. I live just down the street from the development. I've been there since, uh, at 7-Eleven Donovan. I've been there for seven years. I'm just like the council members know that I'm in support of the development. Um, Two concerns I have is I think the development, I would hope that the money spent would be to help fix up the sidewalks and the, the streetscape. Because I would like to see the curbs and sidewalks on the streets all through Colwood. I think it looks great. Um, the other concern I had was um, I would rather see sewers in there, and I know it's a cost factor for everything, but my question to the uh, underground department engineering is, um, how, how does anyone go about, um, if there's a lot of people on the street plus, plus this development that would like to see sewers, how do you get everybody together to uh, um, you know, put a proposal forth? Because I've knocked on a few doors that are nothing to do with the development, but possibly en route for a sewer system. And uh, if I could put enough people together, rather than have septic fields everywhere, and the old houses, are a lot of them are 40 years old, their tanks are going to be going, so they're going to have to do something with those either spend the money and it would be much better to put it into the sewer system, but um, I haven't, I've missed the other meetings, so I might be a little bit in the dark on that. But anyway, I hope we have more time. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. Madam Mayor, I would just say that I can speak sure. to the gentleman offline after this. Sure. So, Glenn, our deputy engineer, will uh, have a conversation with you around the sewer plan. Hi, my name is Dave Citra. I own 661 Kelly Road, an adjoining property. Um, a lot of what I was going to say tonight has already been covered. I'm basically speaking in favor of it. Um, I think it's important for a municipality to weigh carefully the information of a new direction. To consider the effects of its decision on the social fabric of a community in short and long term is an important task. i watching this process for a while, and I believe that Colwood has taken the time to consider the new vision for its municipality, and I'm in support of small, careful developments. Mr. Bin, Bill, Bill Randall has also taken time and consideration to work with neighbors, inviting their opinions, and input to shape his vision in concert with the municipality. As an owner of the adjoining property on 661 Kelly Road, I'd like to speak in favor of the overall plan to develop the property on 686 Donovan Avenue. This plan will breathe new life into an established neighborhood, offering a chance to establish a younger, new lifestyle while embracing Colwood's individual vision of a progressive municipality. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that wants to speak to this issue on the public hearing? Mm -hmm. um, I have a, uh, a letter from a resident who wanted to provide some input. Do you want me just to give it to you or would you like me to read it up to you? Um, is it lengthy, Mr. Randall? Or no. Then maybe read it for the benefit of those who are in the audience. Uh, dated today, uh, the City of Colwood Mayor and Council public hearing on the rezoning application of 686 Donovan. I have gone over with Bill Randall his rezoning application for 686 Donovan Avenue and I think it's a great idea. The plan fits within the OCP and helps put Colwood in the right direction. I ask that Mayor and Council to please approve the final readings on this application. Signed, Jean Lena at 3336 uh, Hatley Drive, Colwood, BC. And if you have a copy of that, though, I'm sure our recorder would yeah. retain. Anything from yourself? Okay. Uh, to those that do know me, my name is Bill Randall, and I am the applicant for rezoning of my property at 686 Donovan. I wish to thank Council for its approval of my application and bringing it to a public hearing. I'm asking Council to please complete with approval the final readings on this application. As we know, infilling plays a crucial part in the city's goal to grow positively within the standards of its official community plan. New growth means new infrastructure like sewers, improved water mains, and attractive aesthetics. It also brings much needed revitalization to an older neighborhood with increased land values and that benefits the city. Development along the Kelly Road area will create a more efficient use of municipal infrastructure like transit, utilities, roads, rec centers, and parks. New development can enhance the viability of local schools, community centers, shops, local businesses, and services. In short, municipalities are recognizing more and more the positive points on new positive change within older neighborhoods and the good it can provide their community. This is a good application, and I am not alone in believing it's a good for Colwood and that it's good for the community. I have been a long-term Colwood resident and a paramedic fortunate enough to work in the West Shore. Believing in my community, I have given it thousands of hours of volunteer time. Consequently, I have a vested interest in making this a good Colwood project. In short, this is a good positive direction for the city of Colwood and its residents. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? And I finally got the link to open up, so I just want to follow up and read here, and, and, if there's, and I'll give one more calling for um, any comments. Um, the function of council at this public hearing is to listen to you rather than debate the merits of the proposed bylaws. After the public hearing has concluded, council may, without further notice, give whatever effect council believes proper to the representations made at this hearing. As a matter of information, the bylaws are on the agenda this evening for consideration. Please be reminded there will be no further opportunity to speak to those bylaws during to council during that time. The opportunity is now, so I will give another call for anybody from the public. 
that would like to make comment on this application. And seeing none, then I will close uh, the public hearing and we'll move into our regular meeting of council.